Well, here's what is going on today. That sycamore has a lot of issues. I've never carved sycamore before, but I've heard that it's really hard to carve as far as trying to uh, dry it without it splitting. And I've got it set aside in some wood shavings. I think it's getting a little bit of a ring shake in it. If you're not familiar with ring shake, I'll, uh, I'll put a picture up here trying to give you an idea of what that is. But anyways, I come out here last night and I started another bowl here to really finish up the process here. That way I'd have one to show from start to finish. That way that uh, if a sycamore fails on me and starts cracking like I think it's going to, we'll at least have a, a decent bowl here. And this is a piece of walnut. I did a video a few weeks ago showing a walnut tree getting cut out here in my front yard beside the driveway where I dry my lumber at. This is a piece from that tree. I split it up last night and uh, planed the bottom and top of it pretty flat. And I had a natural curve in it already, as you can see right here. A little bit of a curve in it, and I kept that curve. And I did all my carving here in the heartwood, and I kind of used that as my baseline as I went down from the heartwood end with the adds and then with the gouge. And the sap was going to be kind of the outside of the bowl here and all the heartwood shows up and it, it's turned out pretty good so far but walnut's very easy to dry it's pretty stable it's one of the easiest woods to dry without worrying about a lot of defects but uh, today we're going to uh, get out our gouge or swan that we put our handle on yesterday of course it's ready to go the epoxy set up last night and it's ready to go and uh, we're going to start using it here and doing a little bit more hollowing on the bowl and then we'll take the spoke shave and the draw knife and carve up almost to the final dimension and then we'll bury this thing in shavings again until it uh trade come back in about a week or so for final finishing on it Just go. Every life is through Even the horses Are getting restless I 
guess that I am too. Quite a hundred acres, no. Well, that's as far as I'm going to go with it until it dries. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put it away for two or three weeks and try to forget about it. And I'll check on it every few days to make sure there's no cracks or nothing going on. But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, what I'm going to do this time, usually I would put them in my bedroom closet and just let them dry inside the house. But... Uh, this right here is not of the main tree. This is actually a limb. So limbs usually are made just for spoons, not for bowls. So I kind of went out, went out on a, a limb here and uh, made a bowl out of a limb. So we'll see how it turns out. 